supporting the leader. So what does supporting the leader look like or sound like? Um, it means that you anticipate something that they need and you get that done in order. So if your job is to set all the dishes, but someone else has a little extra free time, they may take the dishes down from the cupboard and put it on the counter. They've anticipated your need, they had time, and supporting the leader in that job would mean taking the dishes down. You don't want to sabotage your team at home. Okay, supporting the leader doesn't mean giving yourself extra work, it just means supporting whoever it is that has that job. So think about activities that you have that your child could do to practice leadership in the house. So in, with little kids, I've talked about the master of the seat belt. That's something they could do um, that will encourage leadership. Um, so just think about different things, uh, making lists on the refrigerator, chore lists. So who could be the one that would write the list? Um, each one of you could lead the family meetings every week that sort of thing. An example of not supporting the leader would be if when someone's talking, you talk on top of them, you try to change what they're saying and do something different, you complain about the instructions, ignore the leader, uh, roll your eyes. Those are sabotage of the leader learning how to lead. Giving somebody a leadership role and then supporting the leader means giving them more than they ask for, do it as quickly as possible, and anticipating their needs.